Hello everyone, this is Tony from iForm Builder, and today I'd like to show you a quick and easy way to download your media files in bulk using built-in tools in Mac OS X. Uh, so right now I have loaded the list view for a table I created that just has 20 image elements in it. And you can see that I have captured one row here, um, but I do have 20 different image elements that contain a photo. Um, so what I need to do now is copy this URL from this web browser and then I need to launch the automator tool and when the automator tool um, opens up I'm going to select a new workflow and choose the workflow. I then want to come over here to the left hand menu and select internet and you'll see here in the second menu there's a, um, a list of components that you can drag and drop over on this right hand side here. Uh, so the first thing I want to do is get specified URLs and drop this over. I'm going to call this load test. Actually, we'll just call this image test. And then I'm going to paste the URL that I copied from my web browser. And I need to pass in my username and password into the URL. So my password is read user as well. Um, the second component of this is after we get the specified URL, we want to then get image URLs from this web page. So we'll drag this over and make this log box look smaller. After we've grabbed the URLs, the, uh, the image URLs from this web page, we then need to apply a filter um, because this is actually going to give us all the images on that page, including the stock images um, on the browser. So in order to do that, what we need to do is apply a filter here. And the filter is going to be slash field underscore, oops, underscore. And all of the image uh, files or media files that are, um, that are stored in the iForm Builder database will begin with this prefix. Okay. So then the last thing that we need to do is we need to download these URLs. So we'll select the download URL add this one at the bottom and then I can choose other to create a new folder so on my desktop I will just create test images folder and then I will choose that alright that should do it and we are now ready to run our automator function so it's going to go ahead and process all of this for us you can see it just completed. Now if we look at our workflow, we can see that everything was completed. Um, the time that it took to process each request, so it only actually took three seconds to download all of our images. Now, now that we have them, we can take a look. So these 20 images that were in the web browser um, have now been conveniently downloaded to my messy desktop. <laughs> uh, so let's see here. And we'll do a view range by date modified. And then here are all of our images.